Hey folks, Matt Easton here, Skull of Gladiatoria. This is a super quick and unedited video, simply so I can get it up quickly and um, get you acting and get you doing things. Um, for any of you who watch this channel, I'm sure a lot of you either regularly or have watched um, Thane Thrand's channel and uh, Thrand does all sorts of things. He's done response videos to me but he's mostly focusing on ancient and mostly early medieval um, warfare and weapons. Um, but he covers all kinds of topics and uh, you know he's a nice guy and he's doing really good stuff and he's been doing videos for years now and uh, his channel has just been um, deactivated by YouTube. Now to set a little bit of context to this, YouTube is doing some really weird things at the moment and about uh, about three, four months ago they introduced a bot which basically trawls through videos which are being uploaded looking for anything that they consider unsuitable for their advertisers and essentially deactivating that video from being monetized. This has led to problems for uh, me, for Shad, for Metatron, for Lindy Beige, um, for all kinds of channels out there um, where we've had to apply for a, a, a manual review as it's called on the system. And in many cases this is applied before the video is even published. <laughs> it, like it's crazy. So we upload a video we start putting in a title and some metadata and stuff and click save on it and as soon as we monetize it, it goes, this is not suitable for most advertisers so you will not be gaining any revenue from it. Now, when some of you might go, oh, but you're doing this for a hobby, blah, blah, blah. Well, I'm afraid not. Making videos takes a huge amount of time, huge amount of resources and so if it's not paying us, we'll stop making videos. A lot of us will just stop making videos because we've got to do things, other things to pay the bills. Um, and so, you know, it, this is really, really frustrating and I don't live uh, entirely off my um, video earnings. Um, I have another job as well, but some people out there are full time, you know, they're earning all of their, their money to pay their bills and pay their medical fees and all this kind of stuff from their job, which is YouTubing, which is making videos for you folks. Um, and uh, so this is, you know, it's a serious business. Um, it, it's not, it's not just some videos on the internet that, you know, it's it's some people's living. Anyway, so part and I think it's part and parcel of this. YouTube has got this bot which is going around looking for these videos and flagging them up as unsuitable, and we have to apply for a manual review. And an actual human then gets involved and goes and does a manual review and they watch and they see it's a picture, it's a video of me talking to Toby Capwell in a church and they go, oh, well, that's fine, you know, that's fine, remonetized, reactivated. And believe it or not, anything to do with weapons, uh, military history, religion of any sort, of any flavour, there are various topics that YouTube doesn't like and that are getting flagged up. And um, just literally, I think today or yesterday, Thran's channel got flagged up, presumably by some kind of bot, because some years ago he made a couple of videos talking about ninja fire pots, something akin to a type of early bomb, I suppose. And this got flagged up, oh, terrorism, blood and violence, oh, we hate this. And they deactivated his entire channel, not just those videos. And as Thran said himself, he would have, if they'd like contacted him or just deactivated those videos, he would have been like, well, fine, if you've got a problem, I'll delete those videos. But no, they deactivated his entire channel, uh, most of which is about like history and swords and like, ancient Greek spears and stuff. Like, what are they doing? Anyway, so Shad has got on the case and he's put a petition together. So below this, you'll find a link to a petition on change.org. I highly encourage you to go and sign that now and hopefully Thran's channel will be at back up and running soon but YouTube does respond to sort of public um, pressure and so this might help. So please go and sign that petition and uh, or send messages, flood YouTube with messages. This is absolutely ridiculous that his channel has got deactivated because of two videos about medieval Japanese fire pots. Come on, what's next? Greek fire? Uh, fireworks night? Guy, like Guy Fawkes? I don't know what is next that will get people deactivated. I don't know. Maybe me making this video. I have no idea. But anyway, it's turned into some strange kind of totalitarian regime, this video making business. Um, Please, YouTube, don't go down this path because you're just going to force creators and viewers to go to other platforms. Um, so anyway, please go and sign that petition. And thanks again and apologies for the lack of editing, but I just want to get this done quickly and get it up. Cheers, folks.